Yeah, Mike, we're here along the Boulder Creek. In fact, we've partially waded out into the creek, but not too far out. You can see that water levels are very high tonight. In fact, if you look at the measurement gauge across the bridge here, across the creek, water levels are about four feet above normal. The Boulder Office of Emergency Management tells us they are monitoring this situation closely, but as of this hour, no new warnings or notifications. The Scocellus family is out for an evening stroll. It's way, uh, it's way high. Rami Scocellus grew up here. He knows the power of this creek well. He almost drowned here as a young boy. It carried me about 100 yards underwater. I came out with lumps on my head and I was bruised all over my body. And my friends had to pull me out of the river about 100 yards down. So yeah, it was pretty scary. Boulder Creek looks to be all business right now. It's high and fast. And residents are treating it with caution. We have small children in our family, so we're just very cautious when we're down here with them to not let them out of our sight or to not, you know, have them go off by themselves. It's just because it, it's unpredictable. Over in Golden, water levels are also extremely high in Clear Creek near Coors Brewery. Small piles of hail collected at the base of the posts on this bridge after a fierce thunderstorm rolled through this afternoon. Stormwater adding to snow melt in creeks and rivers all along the front range. At this level, it's kind of scary. We gotta keep everybody away. The good news here in Boulder tonight is that we have clearing skies. In fact, we can see the stars and it's a very calm night tonight compared to what we've experienced here along the front range for the past Sorry. several nights. Perhaps this particular disturbance has finally moved on. The water levels in Boulder Creek still very high tonight, however, but again, clearing skies just in time for the Boulder Boulder tomorrow morning and those Memorial Day tributes and celebrations. Live in Boulder, Russell Haythorn, 7 News.